This is the headquarters for the Macintosh Memorial Library Summer Reading and Activities Program. The first thing you'll need to do is create an account. Let's get started by registering an individual or a family. And we have not been a part of Beanstack before, so we'll click no. And yes, I want to register an adult and some kids. So first, let's enter our name. Let's say our name is Macintosh, and the last name is Library. You can use any username you want, just make it easy and easy to remember. I'm just going to say my last name. Then you'll enter an email because that's how you'll get a notification if you um, are ready for a prize or you won a door prize. Enter a phone number. And then create a password. And it, it does, again, it doesn't have to be complicated. It's something that your kids will easily remember. I just use the word summer. Now I'm going to register a child as well. And I'm going to say my child's name is Joe. And his last name is Library. And let's say Joe is four. All right, next. Now Joe's earned a badge and to click out of that and get the question behind, it says, yeah, I do want to register another child. So let's name this child Jane. Last name, library. Let's say that Jane is, Jane is a teenager though. Click next. Jane gets her badge. She's registered for the summer reading program. Let's not register another child, but you can register as many as you want on one account. Yeah, I would like to register myself. And the only thing left to register is my age. The only thing we need is you to say that you're older than 19. This age doesn't really matter. We're not even gonna look at that. Would you like to register another adult? No. Okay, so it says we're all set up. That's how easy that is to register in this account. Now you have created your Beanstack account. Now, if I look up here, this tells me what reader I'm going, I'm in. So this is Joe's screen, and it will look the same for Jane. See, if I click on Jane, nothing really changes. But let's register work in Joe. So let's go in here and you can see all the badges for the summer that you can, these are logging minutes. Each badge represents 20 minutes. That's just like in the past. Every stack of books was 20 minutes. So I keep going down and then I see, hey, this badge is different. It's got a trophy. So that trophy represents a prize book. And then it switches badges. So every time you earn a prize book, then the next badge will be different. So, but Joe's are all gray because he has not logged any minutes yet. Next are the activity badges. These are all the activities that we would do at the library. And you can see we've numbered them so you can keep track of which ones you've accomplished. So the first um, group is the choice badges. These are science badges. This is cooking. Here is craft badges. And these craft badges, you can come to the library and get a bag full of all the things you'll need to finish the craft and make the craft. Other badges have take and make bags as well. And each of these badges, there will be an accompany um, YouTube video that you can watch for a demonstration on how to do it. Let's go into this one. So you can see there's information up here. And then this describes this badge in particular, when it's going to be on the YouTube channel. And then right down here, you'll be able to click right there and go right to that video. But to complete this badge, we have to write something. I'm gonna write, my dragonfly is blue. My big 
sister even likes it. Then I hit save. And look at this box. The box turned green and it unlocked another badge. But let's go out of this. So we just click the X. And the rest of these, this just shows the badges that I've earned. And remember, you got that badge and that badge. And then this will tell you when you can go to the library to pick up a book that you've earned. And then this just represents all the times you've come here and logged minutes. But let's go up here and log some minutes right now. So I click on minute and I make sure that I'm in Joe's account, if that's the child I'm logging. The day that it is, is highlighted. Let's say Joe read 45 minutes. You don't have to write a title, but this time I want to because I really liked the book and I want other people to see that. And look at it, it popped up for me. And I do want to write a review because I like this book so much. So first I click log. I unlock the badge. And then I come down here and I write, um, this has funny poems about camping. Their grandpa snores super loud. Let's add an emoticon. And then we save it. Now that review will be able to be seen by anybody in the same age category as Joe. So somebody zero to six. But Joe will not be able to see Jane's reviews and Jane will not be able to see Joe's reviews. All right, and look at, see, it pops up and it shows one of the books that Joe read this summer, which is really cool. You can also come over here and write this kind of review as to, well, we just did a writing review. Let's do a picture review. So let's write um, Gone Camping. Oh, whoops. Now, if I want, I can insert a picture here and it's really easy. If you have pictures on your computer, you can just go copy and paste one in. You can drag and drop. It's really, really simple. And then I just save it. It takes um, a little time to download it. So I'm not gonna do that here. So let's just close this. And that's pretty much how you do the summer reading program. It's very simple, very easy, very user friendly. So I hope you'll register for a Beanstack account. But before you leave, always make sure that you um, sign out. So click sign out.